guys meet your girl blanche ingram you're welcome to the blanche ingram tv show if you are new on this channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share my video don't also forget to click on the notification bell so anytime i upload a video you will receive notification and to my return subscribers i love you guys so guys we are talking about child abuse today focusing on rape rape is something that has always been happening in our society it's still happening and if something is not done about this it will continue happening because we have seen cases where men grown up men violate the right of children rape children and they still go scot free these things still happen this is the case of um, Valentine Tabe. He is 35 years old. This guy is 35 years old and he is resident in Boya. I think somewhere around Boya. It has just been realized now that this man has actually been feeding on his stepdaughter. So it is said that this man's wife actually got this child before getting married to this man. So it means this child was brought into marriage while she was still young. This child grew up under this man. And at the age of, I think 12 years, this man started violating this child. This man started sleeping with this child. It was only, he, they were only caught at the age of when, when this girl was 18, uh, 16, sorry. And when they asked this girl, she said, this man has been doing this to her. This man has been having the be better part of her since she was 12. And if a child says since she was 12, I don't believe it's only been four years. This is something this man must have been doing for a very long time i have also seen a case like the cases not yeah. only a case but one of this actually happened in my neighborhood where a where a well respectable man was caught with his stepdaughter a man that we we could we, we, a man that we we, we we looked we were looking up to him was caught with his stepdaughter and the question is these men do they don't they think does it mean that at the end of the day some men reason those some men don't reason with their heads because i don't know how a woman that you call your wife who get married to you bring along a baby and this child actually grows under your care and you turn behind to romance this child because to me i believe that if a if somebody a child that grows with you no matter the relation somebody who grow, when a child grows under your roof no matter the relation you have with this child automatically that father child relationship is there so i don't see how some men will keep their older brain or some men will will be that funny that horrible that uh, i don't know to 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 to, to have intercourse with dear with with a child that is living under their roof so these things have been happening it's not a joke this is not a joke that is why i decided to make this video to make some of you ladies who are married to men that are not the father of all your children to be careful if you have a girl child at home that they are not directly related, that she's not directly related to the men or to the guys that are in that home. You have to be very careful.
if you bring a girl child into marriage like if you get married when you, ha you, you already have a girl child out of when love and you bring this child into marriage you get to be you have to be very careful you have to there are things that you have to go extra mile to put in place for this child to be safe because if one man has done this two three it means some will keep on doing i am not saying all men do this no there are some men that we call men i can say somebody like myself i grew with my stepdad but never my stepdad has never even thought of that. No, 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 no. My stepdad treated us, the children, the same. He has never even, he has never made an ad, he has never made advances at me, never. So to him, to people like my stepfather, I give more, I give credit to but to other men who cannot control their private part, I said, I, I say, you women, you have to work on them. You have to go extra mile to take care of your girl child. There are things that you have to do, or there are things that you have to uh, 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 see in your girl child to be able to identify if she's been molested or not. For example, if you have a girl child, always try to go tr try to go very close to her. If you go close to her, she might open up some of these things to you. Because I know that these men who molest children, there is one thing they always tell these children. They always tell them that if they happen to hear this anywhere or these children or these girls if they tell anybody about this they will kill them all of uh, uh, these men most of them say they they, they 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 are a threat to these children they threaten them they make them feel like they own their life so the these children i don't blame them because they are still children and when they are being threatened they fear also, and they don't get to discuss this with any other, with any person. The case where I'm talking about that actually happened in my neighborhood. This man threatened this child that if he happens to hear this from anybody, he will kill this child, bury this child, and nobody will know about it. This is what this man told this child. I saw another case again that this man also threatened this child, but had to buy the child over again and was all the time he will buy this child gifts he will give him money and uh, sorry she, uh, he will give her money she uh, he will buy this uh, buy her gifts and so on and so forth and when he was doing all this thing the the the, the, the blind mother thought that this the, the husband is loving the stepdaughter there are things that you shouldn't just be blind and see as love. There are things that you have to, you have to think. If your husband, if you are home with your husband, and he start behaving, he ha he start he starts giving too much care to your step to his stepdaughter, you have to wisen up. You have to be, you have to, you have to be care. You have to watch them closely. There are things men don't do except they are gaining something. There are things men don't do except they are benefiting something. You have to know that. So if you are home with your husband and he was never giving some preferential treatment to your daughter or to his stepdaughter and out of a sudden he start doing that, you have to think. Ladies, wisen up. It's not every move that a man does that you see as love. No, you have to think. For example, you have a, if you have a girl child at home and you always have some relatives 
who come to stay in your home or who come to for one reason or the other you have to be very careful you have to watch them closely because at times things happen that you don't even expect that things happen that you cannot even believe it but these things do happen even your girl children with your your girl child with your brothers with your uncles with your relative no it's a no so you have to watch them closely there are things that you can easily pick out there are things that you can easily notice there are ways that you can easily notice if your child is being molest, molested or not for example if you have a girl child that anytime that you 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 you, you touch her from behind she, she is like she gets frightened that fear comes in her you have to put in quote you have to start in quote following her up if you have a girl child who is still very young but suffers from uh, from uh, genital itches uh, and all what not I don't want to be calling them you have to be very careful follow her up if you have a girl child who fears some particular people, especially men, who fears some particular people, especially men, you have to watch her. If you have a girl child who is not comfortable around guys, who is not comfortable around guys, whom you notice that whenever she's been touched, she her reaction is on her reaction is is not normal you have to follow her up you have a girl child who does some sort of play with toys who does some sort of play with friends he, she touch uh, he touches uh, like you, you understand? There are times that you give a toy to, the, to a child and the child does some sort of romantic things to that toy. You have to be, in quotes, you have to be very careful and you have to follow her up. So th there are so many ways of noticing these things. In some, you will see them, they will sleep all the time. Some will sleep all the time. Some will react funny if, for example, if she sleeps without covering herself and you, the mom, you come to cover her at times. Even while she is sleeping, the way she reacts, you will know if this child is being molested or no. Yes. You have to try to notice all these things in your girl children, especially when they are living around men that are not directly related to them. You have to even go an extra mile to check even the underwear of your girl child. You must not do it in her presence. There are ways to do these things. Yes. These things will really, it will really help some of you moms that are not, uh, that have girl children that are not really directly related to the people whom they are living with. There are so many of them. I will just put some in writing. I will put some in writing. You can read as many, there are as many as possible things that you can do to know if your child is being molested or, or not. There are so many of them. Children who are molested, they will not like to, to talk anything secret. Like, like they, 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 they keep a lot of, of secrets. They don't like to discuss their personal, like they don't like to discuss anything concerning them with, with people. So you as a mom, you need to play that role in your girl child's life. 
when I see this guy, how old he, he is, 35, having the better part of a 16 years old child, and it didn't just start today, it started since. If this child said it started since she was 12, it means it started since she was even less than 12. Imagine. So I am just calling on us. We are all mommies. I'm calling on all of us. You need to be very careful. You need to be very careful with who comes around your home, especially when you have girl children. Let me tell you a story. Some of these ladies, some of the, 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 the women are even the cause of uh, uh, some of these problems. In Yahoo I I knew of this lady that got married to a man and brought in her girl child. This man has been molesting this girl, but this girl child couldn't talk to her mom. Each time she tries to talk to her mom, her mom will be like, you are condemning my husband. If you don't like my, my husband, go to hell. This woman never listened to this girl. How can she even talk to you? How can she confide in you when you don't even give her the opportunity to talk? This woman never gave her girl child the opportunity to even express herself. The last incident that happened before this child left home was the guy actually molested this girl, raped this girl, and she was like so weak. When she wanted to talk to her mother, her mother never wanted to listen. Her mother has always had this impression that the girl child doesn't like her husband. No, your girl child cannot just hate your husband like that. You have to listen to her. Most of the ladies, most of you ladies who go into marriage with children, you don't always listen to these girl children. You don't listen to them. To you, you think they want to break your marriage. What is even the... To hell with this type of marriage if this man has to molest your own child. So what happened, happened to this girl? It was this. She actually left home. And when she left home, this woman painted her black. She painted her as the worst daughter on earth. But God being God, this girl try had to confide in somebody when she confided in that person that's when that lady had to go back to her mom and say do you actually know why your child left home and she said and hey, she's a stubborn girl i don't have her time she wants to break my my marriage like seriously so this lady had to tell her your child left home because your husband has been molesting her for some time now and she was like but it has already happened what do you want to do about it so i just want to call on you married women out there who went into marriage with, uh, uh, with 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 girl children be very careful men can be very block-headed there are times that some of them don't think they think only with their private parts they don't think with their heads some men they can be so funny. Yes. So you have to be very careful. You have to know your child. You have to communicate your child. So guys, I remember your girl Blanche Ingram. If you come across this video, don't hesitate to share. Share this because this will help somebody out there. Some of these women, not that they are careless, but they just lack the knowledge. They just lack the awareness. They just want somebody to wake them up, to know that these things are actually happening and they can happen to their own child. So if you come across this video, subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to comment. See you in my next video. I remain your girl, Blanche Ingram.